Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Celtic cross from Ireland. Right here in the center, I'm going to take two fingers and put a dot. I come to the left side, I'm going to put two fingers, put a dot. And on the right, two fingers and a dot. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a straight line through that dot. On the left, straight line through that dot on the right. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a slightly curved line, straight line, curved line up, connect. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a slightly curved line, straight line, curved line, connect on the right. I come up to the dot at the top and I'm going to draw a straight line through it and stop. Come back to the left side. Draw a slightly curved line down, jump over, straight line, curve line out, and stop. Come back to the right, straight line down, jump over, slightly curved line down, out, and stop. Come back to the left, and we're just going to draw a slightly curved line up, over, and connect. I come up here on the left and I'm going to start drawing a curved line, jump over, curve line, jump over, curve line up, stop, come up on the right side and we're just going to draw a curve line down, connect. I come back inside and I draw a curve line on the left, jump over, Curve line, jump over, curve line up, jump over, come back up to the top, curve line down, and connect. Starting at the top, I'm going to draw a straight line, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Come all the way down here to the bottom, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come on the left hand side, I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come on the right hand side, straight line, straight line in, up, connect. Now, starting on this section right here, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line and have it connect to the uh, lines of your curved lines. Jump over, curve line, curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line, connect. Now, in the center, I'm going to draw a curve line up, down, up, down, up, down to the next edge. And on the top part, I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw spiral curve line jump over spiral curve line all the way down keep going keep going spiral now I come over here on the left and I add baby circle on the left on the right jump over bring it all the way down jump over keep going keep going and I think that's all. All right, let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take green and I'm going to color all these baby circles because these represent precious stones. So since we're in Ireland, these could be emeralds or malachite or some green stone. I'm going to color all the way down. Then I'm going to take gray and I'm going to color my triangles because they did a lot of metal work. So this could be silver inlay. I'm going to use my gray. Then 
I went through my crayon box and I found that peach again or that apricot. If you don't have those colors you can use yellow or you can use um, yellow orange and I'm going to color the main part of my cross with a light beigey kind of light brown color and I come up and I do this part of the cross also. Now these people were very intense metal workers so all of this is filigree which is a fancy way of saying they had designs on all of their symbols. Now I'm going to come in and on the cart part that is the inside of the curved line. I'm going to take that main cross color, whatever it is, and color in just those sections. And then with just a regular brown, I'm going to color the rest of the circle. Okay? Now these all can be done in a different color motif, but these are the ones that I used. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Celtic cross all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.